I'm going to I'm going to show you a simple rolling spear uh, presentation right now. Um, so here we, go. we have a layout here. So before you do a rolling spear, you should have a layout first. You should have done your uh, the the layout before doing the rolling sphere. So you should have reflected all the equipments involved, your uh, the location of your lightning uh, lightning arresters or air terminals or lightning mast. So just follow the guidelines. So that would be the NFPA 780. So review the standard. Um, according to NFPA 780, the radius of the sphere is 46 meters. And there's there, there's also guidelines for the spacings of the air terminals. Okay. So it is important to reflect all your equipment here so basically this is the roof because you want to cross check if your equipment is protected by by your air terminal air terminals by checking graphically using the rolling sphere method right so here I have the layout you can see these are the lightning mast or the air terminals let's just say these are the air terminals this will vary in height so I will show you later on in the uh, plan view sorry in the elevation view so here we have the equipment. Okay. And in the rolling sphere rolling sphere, you know how it's not important to come to to have the conductors shown in the rolling sphere. Just the air terminals. Okay. So moving on. So I have here the elevation view of grid 6. So grid 6 is facing here. That is grid 6. So we were facing this this wall right here. We're facing here. Okay, so we have the locations of the the lightning, uh, the air terminals. Okay, the height is already predetermined, so we will just verify the protected uh, zones using the rolling sphere with radius 46 meters. So basically, we need to protect. This equipment, this and this. We have these equipments, three equipments, plus this ladder. Okay. <laughs> Let's put this little guy here. So let's copy this. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. Oh, uh, never mind. I will show you anyway two ways of doing it. So first. Using the 
circle. So whatever, um, it doesn't matter what uh, what software you have. Okay. So let's put a circle with a radius of 46 meters. Okay. So this is 46 meters. Copy this one, put it here, put it inside, copy at one of them um, at the bottom cut quadrant. Let's start from here. Basically, in rolling sphere, we want to roll from the top of this one air terminal to the adjacent to the next or adjacent air terminal okay so here you can see since I put the bottom quadrant here it's overlapping here on the next air terminal so what we want to do is we want to roll back the circle some people will do this okay because maybe they don't know how to manipulate it or, or do it properly so they just take it three points from here to here intersection of this no Let's see that's not the proper way of doing it see there's a space because that's not the right way to do it what what we can do is put another circle with free radius so the center will be here one air terminal and the other and and the radius will be to the other air terminal to the next air terminal okay then you want to we would like to um, rotate this circle or roll the circle so rotate three points from this to the intersection of these two, cir two circles and snap it here at the top of the air terminal okay good so next let's copy this Next will be from here to this air terminal. Again, we will put another free radius circle from here to here. And we are going to rotate this 46 meter radius circle. Again, intersection here. Check this out. From here to here. So obviously, um, it will hit the equipment. So by the way, the concept of the rolling sphere is: you see, this is your sphere, and this. These are your um, air terminals. So I'm gonna put a, a hatch for this one. 
enjoy so anything under this hatch is protected you have that okay anything everything in this hatch will be protected by lightning so here obviously we don't like this one but we'll uh, we'll do it anyway and then i'll show you later so I'll copy again this one for the next set. So again, we'll put another small circle. From the center to here. our new circle we will rotate this one here to the intersection Let's delete it first okay. and let's trim this two large circles to avoid confusion. Trim this, we don't need this anymore. Copy again. Make another small circle. Up to here. Rotate. Intersection. Boom. Let's trim. Copy again. From here, let's make another circle. again intersection up to here so you see guys between these two you will see that you don't need this you, need, you don't need this space why? because I can just put the rolling sphere between this and the 
this. If you imagine, definitely it will roll. It will roll over this part. It will bypass this one. I'm gonna show you. So I'm not going to do this yet. Let's trim for a while. Copy this one. This. Okay, don't get confused. Let's make another circle. From here to here. And let's rotate this. section boom you leave this one you see this one it has bigger code range so we really don't need this two. and these two, these two air terminals can protect these equipment. The ladder, the switchboard, maybe antenna, whatever. So you don't need this actually. Let's delete this. <coughs> Excuse. Let's trim this one. See that? Let's put a hatch. Okay. Good. <laughs> so that's how we do the first one. Using certain, but uh, there's an easier way to do it. Um, let's delete. Delete the hatch. I uh, I showed I showed you the uh, the method of putting circles because I want to show you how to roll the sphere. So, but uh, there's an easier way using the arc. Okay. Or by the way, sorry, I'm going to show you how to put a rolling sphere. From this uh, air terminal to the ground, you have to put it on the ground also. So let's copy this. Put it here, grid level. Draw a line, straight line, intersect here. Okay. Then move from intersection. So just move uh, in a straight line and intersect here. Okay. So that's how you do it. It will intersect here. Trim.
So with respect to ground, this will be your protected area, protected zone. So are we good? Nice. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the arc. So, this is much easier and faster. So, let's say put an arc. But you have to start from left to right. Okay? First point will be the left, and the next will be right and the mid. So, in this uh, micro station, you can choose uh, several options start mid and center start start center but we're going to choose start and mid okay start and mid and put the radius of course 46 meters very good start from here to here then snap here you will see you will see the uh, guide uh, you see the Broken lines, uh, hidden lines here. Yeah, just click here inside. Again, put the arc. By the way, what will happen if you click right to left? The curve will uh, invert. You see? We don't like that. We don't we don't like this curve. That should be the other way around. So here, the other end, click here. So here we don't need this. We'll go straight ahead in here. Boom. Good. Next, okay, we have a problem here, but I will finish first putting the arcs. Okay, so from here to ground. So what are you gonna do here? No, you have to use the tangent snap. Boom, see that? I have to make the, this level highlight, then I have to snap. Yes, that is my coverage. So how about this one? cannot do from right to left, right? Because the curve is different. But no worries. Do it from left to right. Uh, snap. Tangent. Okay. Just let this ground level highlight. Click it. Accept. And just mirror this one. Mirror vertically. You see, that's how we do it. So annotate. Let's put a line here. Just to show you the protected area, protected zones. Okay. 
now for this one. These are the areas for this one. <laughs> it's overlapping. We don't want that. We need to add. We need to add a lightning mast or lightning uh, or an air terminal somewhere near this uh, guy. So let's say we want to put somewhere in the middle of panel but we don't know what's the height let's put a line at the center it's an easy fix put a line and let's copy this circle One of two ways that I do. Okay. Rotate. From here to the intersection of this edge of this panel to this uh, 46 meter radius circle. Okay. And then snap it here. Okay. Now this will be your uh, minimum minimum uh, um, height from here to here. To the whatever is your attachment, wherever is your attachment, to the slab or the parapet, or no, 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 sorry, it will be on the concrete slab here. Okay, so it goes to say that uh, your lighting must should extend from this panel up to what height at least point. 1189 so let's say point to be able to protect this panel okay that's one method but it's that one still touching so you have to put greater than point one one eight nine that's one method so let's extend this Let's use the arc with the use of 46 meters from here, snap it here, except then extend your arc past this line right here and you will see the result is the same. Trim this one. Point one one seven nine. So you have to put it greater than that. Okay. So this one more time. <clears throat> oh, I made a mistake. For using the circle, you have to put another small circle. 
from here. Oh, oh crap. Let's put a small, small circle with the free wages. Selecting this one, so let's update this from here to this intersection. Go here at the edge, and stop away. Yes. Extend this and trim. The result should be same. One one seven nine. Yep, because I forgot the small circle. Good. So one one seven nine. You have to put. Beyond that, point twelve will do. So let's say let's let's put uh, point Somewhere there. Now it's protected. This just the one part, but you have to verify the other, the other view, right? Let's say for this equipment, which is this one, which is this one, we need to view uh, along E, right? We have to view. like going to section this part yeah we need this two air terminals this one and this one and we're going to reflect this equipment that's easy copy this Because I don't have the elevation view or the section view of this uh, part, but no problem. Copy this. Rotate. So this uh, air terminal is this one. The other one is this one. Copy. Now let's copy also this here. Copy. Mirror.
So this is the actual distance from the field. Okay. And let's move this. We can delete this. Now to check between these two air terminals. Let's put the arc. Boom! It is protected. See that? Oh, I'm dying. Let's put a line. And we're done. Your equipment is protected. So, yeah. There you go. Thank you for watching.